Okay, so just a quick video of um, what I normally would do. I'm just going to show you in the morning times. It um, doesn't matter when you do it, but just for mobility. Um, I'm going to show you what my go-to ones would be just if I don't have a lot of time. Um, I'm doing it in a box room because this is where I normally do it. Just to kind of show you what you can do in a small space. Um, so I'll just begin. So the first thing I start off on my hands and knees um, and just work on the shoulders and the spine mobility just to begin with, I'll just move back a little bit. So um, hands in line with your shoulders, get your shoulders in line with your wrists, spread your fingers wide, make sure you're evenly spread under the knuckles. Okay, and then just gonna do a bit of stretching first of all. So just to roll the shoulder blades back and you can do this by rolling the inner elbows out Try to keep a neutral spine, so in other words, don't have your, your backside sticking out. Try and get this nice and flat, okay? And then rolling the shoulder blades back. I'm just gonna dip the chest down, okay? I'm trying to draw the shoulder blades together at the back, okay? And I'm just gonna hold that for about five breaths. Each exhale, just trying to get um, them closer together, don't strain, just let it happen naturally. I mightn't do the full five breaths because I'm trying to demonstrate for you. And then I'm going to do the opposite now where I go the opposite direction, draw the shoulder blades away. So I'm rounding the spine but focus on the shoulder blades. Head goes down, belly button draws in. And I'm going to hold that position. Again, <clears throat> for about five breaths. And I usually do that maybe two or three times, just to, depending on how I feel. Okay, and the next one I'm gonna do is shoulder rotations in this position. So you can start, That's di it's difficult for you, you can start here in a, sit in a kneeling position and just roll the shoulders. So maybe just do this about five times. The idea here is just trying to get the shoulder, the shoulder blades to move through its rotation. And don't worry about and change direction. And don't worry about how flexible you are. It'll all come in time. If you're not that flexible, just try to roll them through the rotation that you have right now. Okay, then we're gonna do the exact same thing, but in this all four position, neutral spine. Uh, hands in line with shoulders, shoulders over your wrists, okay, and try not to have the shoulders up around the neck, so roll those shoulder blades back in their elbows, and come out, <coughs> rotate out as you press into the mat. So, dipping down, do shoulder rotations backwards first of all, rolling back all the way up, Let's try to get a full rotation here backwards, so I usually do 10. Now you can do 10 in one direction and then 10 in the other direction, or you can do five and five and then five and five. Just see how you feel. Again, neutral spine, try not to move your hips. So what I see a lot of people doing is they, they're moving their hips to compensate for the possible lack of mobility in the shoulder. So try to keep everything steady. Keep the arms as straight as possible. And just try to move the shoulder through its rotation and then we're going to change direction and we're going to go the other way forward rotations again i usually do 10. you know start off with whatever you can do and i usually do a bit slower than this but just to demonstrate obviously keep breathing through all of these exercise that you're doing now after i do that i usually push back to my heels so widen my knees a little bit okay put the hands out in front probably can't see that too much press into the hands try to get my sit bones to my heels <coughs> and then i press push my head or sorry put my head in between my arms and on the mat so my head should be touching the mat okay and just hold that for a couple of breaths just to stretch everything out. 
button and I come back up to all fours again. I'm going to do cat cow. So cat cow is lengthening the spine up and then rounding the spine the other way. So we always do this on the breath. So again, just watch the position of your hands. Always check that in line with shoulders. Shoulders over your wrist, spread the fingers wide. Okay. And again, don't have the shoulders up around your neck. Roll those shoulder blades back and start with a, a neutral spine. I'll just show you from the side. <clears throat> okay. So you're going to, I always like to start from the hips. Okay. So what I like to do is, is inhale, lengthen the spine. So I like to start from the pelvis and then I'm going the opposite direction. I'm exhaling, I'm tucking the tailbone, drawing the belly button in. Okay. Going up vertebrae by vertebrae, pressing into the hands, rounding the shoulder. Shoulder blades draw away from each other. Chin goes down, head goes down. That's an exhale. I'm starting from the hips again. Inhale. All the way up. Just be careful of your neck. Just lead with that sternum area, not with the chin. You can lift the chin up. If your neck is okay, get a bit of a stretch there, that's okay. Tuck the tailbone again, start from the pelvis, rounding the spine, going all the way up. Chin goes down, head to the mat. that as fast as you slow just one point is a good distance away would be elbows to knees start there hands in line with shoulders and then come up that's a good distance to start if it's too difficult you can take a little bit bring the hands a little bit more away from the knees that's okay too <clears throat> okay and the next thing I do is I push back to the heels again okay I'll just move back to the end of my mat a little bit more then I do upward dogs and downward dogs, okay? Um, so I press my elbows down into the mat. I come forward nice and low. And then as I pass through, my elbows lift, my chest comes up, and I'm into an upward dog. Roll the shoulders back. Good, press into the feet. Try and lift the knees if you can. And then knees down, round the shoulders, round the spine, and press back to the heels. That's an exhale. Good. And I come through again. Inhale. Round the shoulders. Exhale. Press all the way back. Come through again, nice and low. fifth one as I come through I lift up I go into a, a downward dog so press into the toes push through the hands and press back I'll just move forward a little bit run out of space <coughs> so downward dog hands in line with the shoulders fingers spread wide index knuckle down roll the inner elbows out, get the shoulders to roll back as best as you can. Your shoulders are right away from the ears. So don't have your shoulders up here. Draw them down and back. Lift the sit bones up. So draw the lower abdominals in and up under the belly button. This will help you to lengthen the spine, lifting the sit bones. <coughs> Feet about six inches apart, but my knees are bent here. So I'm focusing on the shoulders and the spine. Nice long length. Okay. And then, keeping the knees bent, I walk my heels one at a time towards the mat. So I'm just stretching out the calves, keep the breath flowing, get into the hips, get into the pelvis, good. And just try to keep your head in line, your ears in line with your biceps, don't go too deep with the head. Just nice and long in the spine. And just give the head a shake every so often so you're not creating any tension there. 
good. And then you can go back to your knees and push back to your heels. And then there's one more that I actually put in. If I have the time, that's a spinal rotation. <clears throat> so again, from the knees, you're sitting on the heels, um, press into the hands. And you're gonna thread the right hand through, drop the shoulder down, okay? Then you're gonna turn the torso, you're sitting back on the heels, fingertips to your shoulder and your elbow points to the ceiling, then your fingers come up to the ceiling, then your head turns. And that should be an inhale, and then exhale, and thread through, all the way down, get the shoulder on the mat if you can, that's an exhale. Inhale, so remember to rotate the torso, Fingers to shoulder, elbow points up, hand reaches, turn the head gently. If your neck is okay, look to the fingertips. Inhale, as you do that, exhale, thread through, shoulder down. And I do five on each side. So here again, thread through, head goes down. Good, rotate, lift up, and just notice the difference There'll be a difference between each side. Head goes down, turn, rotate. That's an inhale up, exhale, thread through. And then back, push back to the heels. Good. You can hold that position. Sometimes I, I have a roller always close by. And to me when I'm doing these exercises, sometimes I, if you can, you can Kind of put your hands on the roller, get more of a stretch into the shoulders and put your head down. Just breathe into that. And they're kind of my go-to exercises. I sometimes add in some knee stuff, okay, and some, some neck stuff, but if I haven't got any time, that's basically what I do. <clears throat> okay, next video I'll do, I'll show you my complete kind of head to toe um, joint mobility routine that I would do when I have lots more time. Okay.